Hi everyone, I have some more things to show you today. Um, uh, the last video I told you that I did um, a MAC order and that finally arrived an Avon order that came and a couple of things from Debenhams that I bought in the sales came as well. Um, but first I'll show you a couple of clothing items. Um, my other popcorn orders still have not arrived. Um, so as soon as those come, I will do a video and upload them. Um, but I did get a couple of tops from Evans, and one of them is the top that I'm wearing. And I don't know how well you can see this. Um, it's kind of like a pink floral two-in-one top. Um, it's really cute and really comfortable. If you go onto the Evans website, you'll probably see it. Um, and the other top I got was the... I think it's called like either a granddad style or a mandarin collar. Not quite sure. Um, it's a white top with three quarter sleeves. But I don't know if you can see the detail on here, but if I just kind of move it around a bit. It's got clear sequins stitched down and it just adds a bit of shimmer. It's really pretty. Um, and some of the buttons have little jewels in them. It's quite nice. And it does have a couple of ties so you can tie it at the back. But um, I may take those off. Um, I didn't realise I had those because I bought it online. I'm not a fan of, of tops that tie around the, the waist. Um, I don't know about on other people, but on me they kind of tend to make me look pregnant and I'm not. <laughs> so I, I kind of avoid those. But they look small enough that I should be able to actually remove them and not damage the top at all. So I'll probably do that. Um, next I'll show you what I got in the Debenhams sale. Um, I only got two things. Um, I got a Powder Time Lover. This is by Benefit. And it has Coralista, Dandelion, and Hula Powders. And that was in the sale. Um, and I also got an Origins gift set. Um, and it has in it, see it comes cute, cute box. Um, it has the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. It also has Origins Brighter by Nature Skin Tone Correcting Serum. And um, Origins Starting Over Age Erasing Moisturizer with Mimosa. And I think this is the oil free one. And also Brighter by Nature High Potency Brightening Peel with Fruit Acids. And they're like pads that you apply twice a week. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm always wary with anything that says acid peel because I just think it's not going to leave marks or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so next I'm going to do um, Avon stuff. If I can just find it amongst the other things. What's that as well? Okay, so um, I've got some shampoo um, of the advanced techniques and it's the color protection shampoo and the color protection sh um, conditioner. Um, these smell quite nice actually. And I did use these today. Um, yeah, they're nice. What can I say? The shampoo and conditioner. You know, it's not going to change your world or anything, but um, <laughs> I needed some color protection because I haven't been using any. And I color my hair and I have noticed a difference that it just starting to wash out a bit more. So um, I need to color my hair again. So I thought I'd get these. I start using the colour protection so it lasts a bit longer. Um, so yeah. Um, and then I got some Skin Soft stuff. Um, my skin isn't particularly... Well, my hands and my legs get really dry in the winter time. Like, majorly dry, cracked, scaly. Really horrible. Um, my hands aren't too bad at the moment. My legs have been really bad. Um, and I used to spray by this stuff before. So I got some more. It's the um, Skin So Soft Dry Oil Body Spray. Um, so I used it this morning after the shower so I can't say it's like definitely working but my legs are a bit smoother um, and I also got some um, ultra moisturizing body, lo body lotion and it's the signature silk one and it smells quite nice it's not like overpowering smell or anything so it's quite nice and um Ooh, two absolute bargains I found on the Avon website. Um, the Avon True Color Eyeshadow Quads. These are normally £8, but they are £4. Um, so I think they're on offer. Um, the first color I got was Purple Haze. 
And these are absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm going to take the little thing that's going to fall out. But these are absolutely gorgeous. And the colours are amazing. They're really, really pigmented. Um, I highly recommend these. Um, for some reason, I always seem to look up over Avon. Um, which is quite sad, really, because I have some fabulous stuff. And I never used to, because I used to use Avon quite a lot. But ever since I got into brands like MAC and Benefit and things, I've overlooked them and then I kind of feel guilty because they have really good stuff. Anyway, um, the next quad I got is Mocha Latte and this one I used this morning. And again, it's absolutely beautiful. The colours are just really, really pigmented. You can't beat it for four quid. I mean, they're normally eight pounds and I think even that's a great deal for these. Um, next I got an eyeliner and it's the Super Shock Gel Eyeliner. I haven't tried it yet but it looks really good and I heard some good things about it. Um, so I'll give that a go. And finally got a lipstick and this one is, I don't know the range, or do I? Oh no, I just know the colour, it's called Pout. Oops. And it's just a really pretty like a light pink colour. Um, the only thing I have to say about the Avon website is I wish the swatches were a bit better. It's really hard to see, um, especially lipstick and lip gloss, the actual colour of them. Because um, it's just like a computer generated colour, kind of like on the MAC website but worse. I mean, it's really, really difficult to actually see what you're buying. Um, I wish they would improve that because I'll probably buy more stuff from Avon. Um, but it's really, really hard to actually see what you're buying. So please, please, if anyone from Avon is watching, please improve it. <laughs> right, um, next up is a, for me, a huge Mac haul. I mean, for some of you, you're probably thinking, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> for me, this is quite a lot. I don't usually buy loads of Mac stuff. Um, but I did buy a few things from the Champelle collection and um, I picked up the Fix Plus Lavender. Um, I've never used Fix Plus before so I thought okay what a chance to try it and it's lavender and it smells really pretty actually. I haven't actually used it, I sprayed it on the back of my hand to smell it. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that works. Um, and next up I got one of the paint pots and I got it in Vintage Selection. It's sort of a kind of like a pinky brown and it's got like green shimmer in it. I did use it today underneath that Mocha Latte Avon quad and it worked quite nice actually. If you can see that. Um, yeah, it's quite pretty but to be honest it almost, let me just grab it, the colour of it, you don't really see most of the shimmers when you get it on your skin. Um, it kind of reminds me of, yeah, I mean, it's sort of similar. The Urban Decay um, Primer Potion and Sin in coloration. Well, this look kind of different, but when you get them on the eyelid, they look kind of look the same. Anyway, that's just me. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got the um, eyeshadow quad in Caviar Dreams. And this is quite pretty, but I was quite, um, quite disappointed at two bouquet, I think that the pink colour is. It's not very pigmented. However, there is a similar looking pink in the Mocha Latte quad of the Avon. Which is, well, okay they're totally different, never mind. I thought they were the same. Anyway, <laughs> don't really disregard that. Um, anyway, yeah the pink one is not hugely pigmented. I mean you get a little bit on your finger but on the skin well it's not yeah it's not a great colour payoff but it'll probably work if you use like a pink base or something. Um anyway the other three colours are, are really good. I think they're really pretty so and none of these colours that I've had I have because I don't own a lot of MAC eyeshadows so um for me it was something worth getting so um, and I got both nail varnishes as well. Let's take them out of the box. Oh. I got Soiree. 
probably should have done this before the video. Okay. Um, Soiree, which is kind of like a pretty shimmery, coppery colour. And I haven't tried these yet because I haven't had time to do my nails, but hopefully I'll be able to do one tonight. Um, and the second colour I got was the Very Important Platinum. And that's a very pretty silver colour. Almost kind of like a dirty silver though, like with a bit of brown in it. It's really nice. And um, two items that aren't in the shampoo collection. Um, one is the um, Mineralized Skin Finish Light Medium. Only because the last one I ordered came broke, but I didn't have to send it back. So I just used what was left in the pan and it's starting to run out now, so I had to get another one. But yeah, just that. I swear by this. When I first tried this, like, over a year ago, I absolutely hated it. I did not like it at all. But for some reason, like, six, eight months ago, I started using it again and fell in love with it. I don't know. Weird. Um, <laughs> and the next thing I got was the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And it's kind of like a light bronzy pink. It's really pretty anyway. I'm sure lots of you have it anyway. I kind of missed out on like a lot of the skin finishes so I'm kind of just getting into them. I didn't get any of the skin finishes from the Champelle collection. Um, simply because the colours didn't really appeal to me. Um, they were just a bit plain. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I didn't really like them, so. Um, oh, and as far as the lipsticks go, I already have Quiet Please, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try to <laughs> dig it out because I have so much stuff in my drawer. But yeah, I didn't get any of the lipsticks or the lip um, glosses or anything because I've already got one of the lipsticks in Sh um, or Quiet Please, sorry. Um, and that's the only one really that I liked and I've already got it, so bye bye it again. Um, so I think that is it. I think I've showed you everything now. I'm just trying to look around. Yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, when my Ula Pop Ken stuff arrives, I will um, upload another video for you. Um, I was hoping to do it today because I thought it would be here by now. Um, so, mm, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. But anyway, um, I hope you're having a good day or evening, wherever you are. And I will see you next time, hopefully with the Ulla Popkin video. <laughs>